had a lot of problems with drugs and I got myself in some legal trouble. I went to state prison a few times. And this last time, um, I knew I wanted to do something different, but I wasn't really exactly sure how to do it. So I asked to go to a um, center and I ended up going to the Transitional Living Center in Williamsport. We have three buildings. We have 900 West 3rd Street, which is known as the Amerikai House. We have 309 Maynard Street, which is known as Kaizen House, and then 616 West Edmond Street, which is our newest facility we purchased in October of last year, which is the Bethesda House. We started in 1987. Um, we started in a small building on Ross Street um, with five beds. The female centers hold up to 34 women. We are currently at 30. And then the Bethesda House, the men's center, holds 24 men, and they are currently full. They've been pretty much full at capacity since we opened in October. I started using drugs when I was about 13 years old. Um, it was like weed, stuff like, like weed pills. Then I went to coke, then I went to heroin, and it just progressed from there. And by the time I was 15, I was using completely heroin, and that was it. I went to rehab for my first time, got pregnant, had a baby, got pregnant again, had another baby by the time I was 17. And it just like, you would think that love would be enough, but it's not. jail regardless. So either they're coming to a center like this or they're going to their own place or they're moving in with a family member. But here we're providing them with those skills to really be able to do it self-sufficiently and sober and they don't have to worry about where their next paycheck's coming to, to pay for rent right away. Like they can focus more on their drug and alcohol. They can focus more on their mental health piece and kind of get a little bit more stable before they have to go out and worry about that. And they also, while they're here, they can build a little bit more, found, like a foundation financially here. No matter how many times I've tried to get clean, I couldn't, I couldn't do it out there. And I knew that if like, I really wanted to do something different, I would have to leave. And it sucks because my kids live there, you know? And I want to be with around my kids, but this is better for me. So I knew I'm familiar with this area a little bit, and I knew that if, if I had any chance, I could do it here. It's like I had to literally learn a new way of living, and that is, that's hard. It's a lot harder than people think, because you think, well, we know what's right, and we know what's wrong. We do, but when we're taught wrong our whole life, and then we have to relearn what's right, it's, it's hard. Yes, the individuals here have criminal backgrounds. That can be scary, but at the end of the day, the men and women that are coming to us are coming from a life of dysfunction, um, a dysfunctional childhood, a dysfunctional relationship. Um, and they're, they're just human beings that want to be seen like a normal human being and once you really get to know them they're they're great people like don't give up i mean i know how hard it is i've been through it multiple times going back and forth back and forth but life is so great right now for me i am so happy and i wouldn't wish the life that i had on anybody even if like you feel like you're alone reach out there's like a million people in this world is going through the same thing mm -hmm.